Welcome guys, Harry here and it's another couple of days later and I just wanted to show you a quick look at what I've done with the track but also do an unboxing and this unboxing is an um, Carrera Evolution set why am I buying a Carrera Evolution set? number one, I'm analogue, strictly analogue and number two, I need some straights why do you want to spend... okay so you can buy, I need maybe seven, eight straights, okay? And uh, I like some spare hand controllers, spare transformers, because it's going to be a four-lane track. So if I go and buy eight straights, two hand controllers, power supply, you know, um, add up. Add up what you're spending. And compare it to what uh, the basic evolution set costs on all of those parts. So let's do this unboxing. I'll turn the camera around and we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at this, this lovely item that I've ordered. So here we are, the uh, Career Evolution Flames and Fame. Flames and Fame. Say that very quickly six times. Flames and Fame, Flames and Fame, Flames and Fame. Yeah, so uh, there's the cars that come with it. We'll show you them in a minute. So, um... The usual stuff uh, for those who don't aren't familiar: two-speed modes, cars with lights, precise speed controllers, precise speed control with electronic hand controllers, wired. You don't need wireless. Wired will do. When I do my thing about digital, I show you the advantages of wireless. But for me, I don't need them. Okay, so let's go. Let's open this box. Let's see what we have. Be sticking that box up on the wall just to decorate the wall okay let's do some let's do some hacking how interesting is this how exciting is this as i said i need some straights now i'll show you if i was to buy eight straights What's that? Seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven straights, right? Seven straights, and then you have the base control unit. One of those over there. I'll show it to you later. So there you have seven straights, okay? Technically eight, but that's the controller. We won't count that. Seven straights. Now, two hand controllers, okay? One hand controller. Two hand controllers, okay? One power supply for the evolution yeah one power supply let's throw that there one power supply and let's show you these cars as usual you get a few braids mirrors bits and pieces okay let's show you these cars now if you like these cars you'd be very happy and i don't mind they run i'll take the magnets out they'd be a bit of fun They'd be good for people who come to visit who are not very good drivers. I'd happily let them use these cars. So it's not so worried about the packaging. So we need to move on with this post. So there we are. Two cars. Okay, what else have we got here? These are the sections that go at the end of your controller, okay? Just to stop cars from running up and hitting your control area. Look at that, you can make a little little something with that as well. Okay, so we have that, we have that. Now, we have R1 curves. Now I know we all have a lot of R1 curves, but you know, it's something nice to have. Um, I'd have cut them in half so I can get the, the, the smaller ones, you know, so if I need to change any sections or anything. Or if you know somebody who wants to set up a set and they want a few R ones, I'd give it to them. Now, you have your usual stuff. Your connectors for your track. And your little bridge supports. Now you can actually go and buy these bridge supports. They cost money. Finally, finally you have your your start finish with your main controller. Now, guys, 
you all are, all are that up. Do me a favour. Make this post interesting in the comments. Buy all this stuff separate. Buy a control straight. Okay. Power supply. Buy two hand controllers. Buy seven straights. Buy how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or one curves. And buy a set of these little supports. Okay. So. You would all have to get it. Two cars. And two nice cars. You know, if if if, if that's your thing, if, if cars like this rock your boat, you'd be very happy with these. You know. And let me just say something to you. Those two cars are nearly the cost of this evolution set. Just those two cars alone. Nice. I'll 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 in the comments I'll tell you how much this cost me, okay? So, but you, you take eight to seven there, right? Take eight straights. Straights are 44 euros here. Okay. For four straights, it's 44 euro for four. So it's about 88. We'll say, we round it up. We say 90 euro, 90 euro for eight straights. 90 euro. Right. Cars, uh, evolution cars. They're about 49 euro, right? That there, guys, that there, that's 190 euro. You have your controller. You have your power base. You have all your curves. You have these and these. And look at that. You get that for designing your track. Saves you having to buy software for your computer. Fantastic. Not just that. Look at this. You cut the sides off that, and you got a poster for your wall. Come on, guys, don't tell me that's not good value. So, when I need to buy straights, I buy an evolution set. And I get all this stuff. Right? Let me think. The cost of the evolution. Let me think. That's, that's 50. Are they 50? Maybe they're 59 euro now. I'm not sure for the evolution. I'll have to go and check that. But those streets and that one car is the cost of that set. Everything else is free, technically. You know, if you were to go buy one car and eight streets, you get all this stuff for free. Think about that next time you need to buy yourself eight streets. You know, or a power base that maybe your power base broke, maybe a blue or something. You know, your power supply. I don't know how much they are. There's the experiment, guys. Have a look in your country with all them bits cost separate. And show me the price. And for anyone getting new into uh, this hobby, I recommend starting with a set like this. Evolution set. And with that set, with this set, you can make this track. Very easy track to make. Great fun. Kids will enjoy it. Adults will enjoy it as well. And... It's a good way of finding out if you're really into the hobby or not. And if you're not into the hobby, stick it on your local for sale website. And you, you'll, you'll get ah, you'll get 60% of your money back. And you've, you've, you've tried something, you know, you've got to try something to see if you like it or not. So I'd recommend buying this before buying an expensive digital set. That's just my opinion. Others won't agree. But there you go. Don't forget, you have to believe what I'm telling you. Because... I'm the man with the hat. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching. And I, <laughs> I'll show you my track. I'll give a quick look at the track, which is in a complete mess at the moment because I've just thrown all my evolution stuff. I need some straights. But here we are here. My plan, my plan works. I've changed it a bit. I've changed it up a bit. I did have two R1s here. I've decided to put an R2 and an R1 together to make this bend a little bit less intense. Everything stayed the same at the far end. At this end, I had a, it was a bit more of it like this and it all worked perfect. The, my measurements were perfect. My, my handmade measurements were perfect. But I had a word with my, my co-driver who's the only person who ever has a go is my partner. So, and for her it was a little bit hard and she's probably right if i'm bringing new people along 
let me flick this round to me. If I'm bringing new people along, and I'm hoping them to, I'm hoping for them to enjoy themselves. You're gonna make it fairly easy. You know what I mean? You you, you can't make it, you can't make it too hard. You you gotta make it um fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this far end. I'm gonna leave all around here. I'm happy enough with this. Don't forget the four lane track. So I just have to buy some more. I bought some straights. I buy some more straights. Um, the only problem is uh, the only sets available at the moment to me are the this flame and fame set, and um, I already have the uh, the one that comes with the Lamborghini and the the Corvette. So it's a pity the NASCAR sets aren't there, aren't out yet. They won't be out for a good few months. They're out near Christmas time. So unfortunately, um, otherwise we'd be buying another Evolution set to get another few bits. But now I nearly have enough straights. I only need, it's mainly some curves I need to get now. And I'll have to order them separate. Because as we all know, almost at least 80% of your Carrera sets come with only R1 curves. Hey Carrera, be lovely if you've done a few more sets with some, especially in Evolution, some bigger sets. Maybe with a couple of R2 curves thrown in. I bet you sell a lot of those. I bet you would. So that's the story. I made the track a little bit simplified and it all fits up. I've measured it. I'll have to do a little bit of, uh, I might have to cut a section. Let me show you down here again. No, I won't actually. That's a standard, that's a standard factory bought section. This is an R1 that I've cut in half, two R1s that were cut in half. I'll fix up the connectors here and uh, I don't need to buy any any of those so i've everything ready to go really guys you know it's a case of getting some bars and some straights so it's, it's all it's all good so come back to me for more fun and mischief in another few days time